Hi, Dan Aker here, uh, Ops Manager of the Ontario Regiment Museum. <clears throat> While we were talking about the Lewis gun, it suddenly occurred to me that maybe I should talk a little bit more about what the Lewis guns competition was. At the beginning of the war, <clears throat> um, the Germans were using the MG-08. Uh, it was a Maxim designed gun. I mean, the Russians were using a similar one. Um, the uh, Brits were using the Vickers, which is very similar. But basically what you're seeing is a machine gun with a water jacket to keep it cool. You're talking about this particular gun, the Germans had basically a sleigh um, instead of a tripod, although tripods were in use as well. But the machine guns were used or looked upon as being almost an adjunct to artillery. Now people, and these machine guns continued to be used during the war, but the actual crew for a machine gun like this would be six to eight people depending on the nationality uh, and their tactical uh, procedures and, per and, and perceptions of how the machine gun should be used. Um, but the Germans actually came up with this weapon, and this is called the MG-08. Now, this is called the MG-08 because it was accepted in 1908. Germans love being very good with their numbers. But this is the MG-08-15. So by 1915, a number of uh, var variants of this particular machine gun were produced with the idea of becoming much more portable. So it's still water-cooled but it's got a much simpler receiver area. It's got a shoulder stock and it's got a fixed bipod as opposed to the whole tripod mechanism. So this is a much more uh, man portable uh, machine gun. So things do change and do evolve with battle conditions, especially in such a uh, horrendous conflict as World War I. Thank you.